here's the dinghy on its side and these are the metal struts that I was going to use for the front so if you think this is upside down these are going to support the boat at the front and then up up here will be attached to the trolley but I'm a bit concerned that these metal things will scratch even if I cover them with something so down here from a previous video I made these as replacement pads for my for the back of the trailer but I've ended up not bothering using them so what I might do is screw those pads on so I'm trying to do this one-handed as usual so they will create a little pad for the boat like that to rest on and then we can cover these in either the same material I've got here which is quite slippy and then we can secure the boat onto the trolley with a clip of some nature or we can make something a bit more grippy to go on there so these are the metal pieces for the front of the trolley but as you can see there this one I, I did quite well but this one oh my god I just could not get it shaped right so oh, it's almost there it's almost there I just need to kind of get this little king cat so I can secure the wooden board there so I'm going to get the mallet see if I can hammer it with a hammer over my mallet and get this sort of little bend out I think that's as close as we're going to get them. This little end bit I can either just cut off, uh, depends how far the wood goes. So I've got these, I think what I'm going to do is put these around them, attach them about here and here and I'll staple those in and that should give me enough room to put a little bit of sponge in there so hopefully having a little bit of give will, will, will you know will protect the hull a little bit better um, and I've got this uh, I think it's two inch thick sponge that's quite good I don't know how waterproof it is but we can cut that to size and see um, see if it'll fit so I think all we need to do is is cut it with the standing knife I don't think that blade's uh, very, uh, <laughs> very, uh, very good. Let's try scissors. <sighs> yeah, that's better. There's one side and then... So it's not, it's not perfect, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So that'll go on there. And then this hopefully will fit round like that. It might be a little bit thick. Yeah, I think that's a little bit thick actually. I got some thinner foam. So this is half the thickness uh, I think this one was a little bit too thick so there we go that'll go on there and then this is going to go around like this and then we're going to staple it on I would say there we go something like that I might just push it down a tickle more and then hopefully the staples will hold we could put a couple of screws in right let's get that i think that's about in the center there so we'll start off with this side and we'll put that one there i've got to be careful not to hit my hands when we do this there we go these uh have, have worked really well on the other on the other pads on the trolley they've, they've lasted all season pretty much
and also you know they're not going to go through the wood like a screw might and uh, damage the uh the boat you know don't want anything protruding through so let's give another go Little bit of a problem with that. Why? Okay, so they're done now. I just had a problem with the stapler. There was some staples in there already. I didn't realise, and uh, they just got jammed. So that is. Oh, my light just went off. So that's now close enough that I hope when we screw these in to the bottom, it will maybe just help to clamp those down as well, and still give quite a. A decent bit of sponge as well so let's do the other one okay that's both of these done next job is to screw them onto here so I've got to find some nice screws that will fit and then make sure they're kind of quite equal as well so these 20 mil I think they're 20 mil by five so they're quite chunky screws let's move that one out of the way and then let's just measure up because I know these are slightly different so let's just measure up if I do this one to the end and then this one will just be slightly back I think that's probably the best way of doing it and then there's right in the middle Now I'm just going to seat it with a, a manual screwdriver because I don't want to rip the screws with my electric one. We're just going to couple in for now, make sure they're the right angle, that's it. Put that one in there maybe. These pieces of wood, by the way, were pre-varnished, so they were kind of ready to go. So there's, that'll do for now, while, while, whilst we're fitting the boat up. We'll do the other one. So I'll just leave this one here for reference, just so I can try and get it in the, the same sort of place. So I think this one's going to need to just... To be honest with you, it's probably not going to matter too much, and we can adjust it. I think getting into the centre is the most important thing. What's going on there? Oh, that's hit a hole. Okay, so let's move that slightly out of the way, and then that's it. Perfect. No doubt, especially if we're going in the sea next season, these will last maybe a year before they need redoing. So, you know, it's important to do things well, but also important to get things done. Don't dwell on them. Don't try and be a perfectionist. You know, the important thing is to keep sailing. Right. Right, okay, I think it's got a slight twist in it, that one, but I think they're going to be okay. I'm going to try and fit them to the trailer now. So I've just cut these to size, so they're the same length. I've just tidied them up with the Dremel, just stop them being too sharp for now. And then these are going to go on here. Roughly like that. And I've actually found some M6 bolts that will actually slot through there, but that's really useful. So let's try and get this jacked up and let's get these screwed together. Here's the front part finished. I've actually just bolted these together and tightened them up. Oh, that top one needs doing. 
just to get them fit. They're nice and tight. They actually keep the trailer from rotating at this end as well, which is really good. So now all we've got to do is take the trailer out and fit the boat. Uh, see if the boat will fit on, see how well it slides on, see if we need any adjusting. And also we've just got to check where this will go because we have got to fit it on the trailer. So we've got to make sure this doesn't um, hamper getting the, the trolley hooked up to the road trailer as well. So we'll do that next. So we're just going to show we're just doing a quick fitting of the trolley back on the trailer and what we're checking for is just where this goes it might interfere with this little point which is the anchor point for the trolley so let's have a look let's put it on because it's got no weight on it there we go. So you can see this is the point that goes through there and locks it. But it's a little bit long, but once it's on the trailer, it should be fine. So I think that I'm going to leave that like that. I think that's going to be fine. Brilliant. I just printed this in the using my 3D printer. Uh, just a really quick design and it's designed to go on the bottom of the little spikes on the trailer so here it is there's two slits in there and they're designed to fit in the slits down there so let's see if we can get this on I've made it so it's tight so it's so these so the tension of these being pulled apart should keep it on oh awesome there we go just gives it a little foot so it will know it won't sort of squash into the mud or it won't skewer into the mud so that's pretty cool